Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at using Patch My PC. We've done a video on this before, now we're going to update it. It's a portable app, just double click it to run and it will scan your machine and look at a list of software to see if you are, if you have it, if you're up to date, or if you're not up to date. In this case, being a clean install of Windows, if my Google Chrome is technically out of date. As you can see, it's almost like a, not exactly, but a top 10 list of the most popular plugins, browsers, multimedia music players, utilities, media tools, and developer tools, and sharing, graphics, security, miscellaneous, and even phone tools. So very, very easy to use. All I'd have to do right now is just click perform one update. However, I'm not a big fan with the Chrome because normally Chrome updates itself. So in this case, I could check it here so there is nothing to do but if you come over into the options you also have the option of always never updating these apps so all i gotta do is scroll down to i find google chrome click on it and don't worry about it click on it and now it will never update it you also have a ton of great options over here create restore points never a bad idea disable the log enable betas Disable silent applications. That's a lot of features, a lot of options for a free little app. I should also give him a plug for his SCUP catalog. If you're a network admin looking at this, for $1 per machine, that's how he makes his money, you can manage everything on the network and update them all at once. I don't need to tell you the kind of security vulnerabilities on a network by not having your Java up to date, for example. So anyway, moving on, this is the free version for you at home. You have an uninstaller which also has some neat features that I have trouble finding in some apps. For example, let's say I uninstalled Google Update Helper. Obviously, I could uninstall it. It is there. But if there I had uninstalled it and it's still reading here in your display uh, apps and features or remove programs, depending on your operating system, you can just remove the program entry. It'll get rid of the registry entry for you, save you a lot of time. That's kind of a neat little feature. Now you can do a scheduler. As you can see on the scheduler, it just needs to download a 127 kilobyte file. Moving out of the way, if I close it, it will close this. But I want you to see that you can run it daily, weekly, monthly. Choose the time you want it to run, maybe silence. This is great if you want to say three o'clock in the morning when you're sleeping. Just simply do silent, set the time, and walk away. It'll be done when you get up in the morning. All right. So we have, whoops, we did that. We have the about, which is just your basic information. And of course you have the website. So in the case of the website, that gives you support. So you have some problems. A lot of times these questions are already answered. So you can come in here, report bugs, make suggestions if you like the program. And anyway, we're back here to this. So all we'd have to do now is just, uh, again, find what's out of date, click perform one update, and that's it, you are done. And use the scheduler. I think it's probably the way to go and take just a few minutes to make sure that there's nothing in here that perhaps you want to use restarting automatically, you know, stuff like that. So that's it. Pretty easy to use. As you can see, it didn't show it gone before. Now that I'm back, it's removed it. The um, Google Helper, just as an example, nothing against Google Helper. And uh, pretty simple to use and free, portable. All right, we're down to the last 15 seconds. So you might notice right over here in the corner, we now have a little icon popping up. And you can click on that, subscribe to the channel if you like. A uh, link will be provided to download this below. Thanks, as always, for watching, and we'll see you next time.